milk. This is little Charlie. Oh, Charlie's a little camera shy. Charlie's our new kitten. Look, Charlie. Um, oh, how strange. Zoe had an old aunt that passed away last week, and it was a black and white tuxedo cat. Like this cat? And we went to the shelter last weekend, and okay. we couldn't believe we saw this other little kitten. We actually saw two. Hey. And you are kind of shy. Oh, Charlie, look. And he's just getting used to the new house. And he's going to be on camera. Let's be very quiet. He's got the loudest purr of any cat I've ever known. Let's see if we can hear it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get him up. Okay. He is a little camera shot. You could hear the purr. I mean, he's got the loudest purr of any cat I've ever known. Oh, there's little kitten food. Oh, listen to that purr. Get a close up. He's cute. I think I'm going to call him Charlie Dom. Our black and white cat that was named Domino. She was 15 years old and had um, kidney failure and we had to put her to sleep last week. And we had a little funeral for her. And she was But then I went to the shelter website, the Houston SPCA, and I couldn't believe it. This little kitty here, Charlie, had come in the same day Domino passed away. Oh, it's playful. So we thought that kind of meant something. And then there was this another kitty that came in the day before, and that was also a sign. But mm -hmm. we didn't take that. We one. chose Charlie. We looked at a dog today, and we decided we're definitely cat people. <laughs> <laughs> it peed all over the I place. I didn't know what to do with the dog. He was so hyper. He didn't. It, this cat doesn't really have paw, pink paws. <clears throat> this one. This paw doesn't have pink. <clears throat> Well, some of her paws are a little bit black, but... One of the cats we saw in the shelter was so cute. It was, like, so hyper and frisky. It was chasing dust. It oh! Was chasing pieces of lint around the, around the little room. And then there was this one named Pickles. Mm -hmm. it, it looks so small. Hey, Charlie Dom. Charlie. Oh, you're cute. <laughs> He's really happy. Do you hear that purr? Have some fun. Okay, I'm about to turn this off and then we'll go check and see how Zoe's handling. Zoe's outside. Zoe peeked in and seemed to be just fine. Charlie's a little afraid of Zoe, but Zoe does not. I've never heard Zoe hiss in my, in, since we've had her now. This is our Zoe did not seem to be upset. I think Zoe's kind of excited to have a little brother. This is going, this is going to be you're gonna be it's seeing her. You're gonna see him more on Zoe's web shows. Yeah, you just don't get this kind of love from a dog. Look at this. It's a little tail. Oh, that's your box. Yep. Got and look at the softness. We'll make <laughs> this a little. <laughs> he did a little flip. Wow, you're an acrobat. Gymnastics kitty. I don't. But we can make this a little educational. If you if you're thinking of adopting your first kitty, this is what you do. Especially Go to the you, Houston SPCA. Especially if you have another um, animal at home, you want to bring them into a small room in the home. Like right now, we have them in the little bathroom, bathroom and um, let them kind of get used to it, and then. <laughs> the other animal can kind of smell the new kitty through the through the room. They kind of, they'll start sniffing each other under the door, and basically they say once they stop hissing, you can start introducing them. Now, in our situation, Zoe, the orange cat, isn't hissing. It's it's Charlie, the new kitty, who's hissing. So. <laughs> <laughs> he rolls over. He does tricks. Maybe he was trained. Another thing to remember is that your frisky kitty will probably only really be frisky for about six months. And then they become kind of mature, mature, boring old cats. <laughs> but Zoe, she ain't been alive. Unless they're like Zoe and they like watching the backyard again. 
<laughs> oh. This kitty, I don't think will get unfrisky. Mm -hmm. Don't be showing your butt. And another thing to know is that in the order of cats, the youngest female is the boss. So that's one reason we purposely got a boy cat, because it doesn't upset the um, girl cat. The status in the house. With Zoe and Domino, Zoe was the, Domino was a girl, and Zoe came in <laughs> 12 years later, being a young girl. And that really it, that took about two months for them to even accept each other. It was tough. Okay, you like that food. Could you put the camera on really quick? And this little kitty right here mm -hmm. is going to be on Zoe's uh, web shows a lot. I think we'll do that. I think we'll add Charlie to Zoe's web page and then maybe we'll um, branch off and let Charlie have his own page. Or we could just give their page together. Smile, Charlie! Smile! <laughs> Cats don't smile. <laughs> they purr, they don't smile. Okay. Well, sometimes they do. Charlie! Okay, let's go see. I'm going to pause this. Charlie, let's get one last little look. And then I'm going to pause and then we're going to go see how Zoe's doing. <laughs>